Hello, everyone. Welcome to Health Atlantic. Today we are going to tell you the difference between jogging and running. Which is better for you? For some people, it does. In some running communities, being referred to as a jogger is not complimentary. But the definition can vary, and there isn't a strict rule that delineates when you are running and when you are jogging. Jogging versus running If you asked most people, they would probably say that that jogging is a slow form of running. Although there isn't a strict rule for running pace versus jogging pace, many sources say that the cutoff is 6 miles per hour or about a 10-minute mile. If you run a 10-minute per mile pace, it will take you just over 30 minutes to complete a 5K race. A 10K will take just over an hour, and a marathon will take 422 to complete. The average running pace for a woman is 1021 per mile, and the average running pace for a man is 903 per mile. But there isn't any strict standard. It's not as if once you drop below an individual pace, you are suddenly defined as a jogger rather than a runner. Most people run at various speeds depending on their distance, and most people slow down once they reach a certain age. So a distinction based on pace would be very confusing. Benefits of running and jogging While there is research that links faster running with more significant health benefits, including a decreased risk for hypertension, high cholesterol, and diabetes, the study authors are quick to point out that their results do not prove causality. That means faster running doesn't necessarily cause better health. Most health experts will tell you that the best exercise for optimal health is the exercise that you are willing to do regularly. And in fact, many running coaches combine speed training with days when your runs involve running for a long slow distance. The bottom line is that when you decide to call yourself a runner is a matter of personal preference. There's no pace test or threshold you need to pass to prove that you're a runner. And you don't need to run a race or wear special shoes to become a runner. If you've been jogging for years and you plan to keep jogging, then go right ahead and call it that. But if you love the sport, no matter your pace or level of experience, you can probably call yourself a runner. So what do you think? Is there a difference between the two? And does it even matter? Comment below. If you like this video subscribe our channel and press the bell icon.